the fifth building that we have uh, been lucky enough to sell in this unbelievable area. It is the next phase of the Canary District. It is 13 stories. It is 206 suites. It's a really cool building. Um, it is actually over the historic facade of the original Canary Restaurant. And uh, when you're looking this direction, so this is looking east uh, down Front Street, you actually see this amazing curved architecture on the corners of the building. And it kind of just sits on top of this historic facade. Really cool. We have amazing amenities. Um, some of these renderings are really nice and we're gonna talk to each one. I'm not gonna talk about them just now because we have full page renderings of each of these a little bit later on. But we have over 13,000 square feet of amenities. We have a concierge, we'll say, show you the really uh, dynamic concierge desk in a few minutes. We have a lobby and co-working lounge and um, also very, very unique. Um, actually, sorry, that's your, co that's your um, concierge uh, right at the top right here. Um, we have a pet spa, we have a fitness room, a multi-purpose studio, entertainment room, a library, which is a really cool amenity. You saw he ended it a few minutes ago. Um, and it's also, of course, up here in the middle of the screen. Um, we have our party room. We have a private dining room with the, um, a terrace space attached to it. And then we have our rooftop garden, which is beautiful with uh, barbecue, lounge, barbecue lounges, fire pits, and a zen garden. Let's talk about our location. We are the center of the downtown east, and we are right at the gateway to the Canary District, right here. And we're just a two minute walk over to the Canary Commons 18 acre park, which is attached to the Don River Trail system. We are right across the street from the historic distillery district. We are right in front of where the um, streetcar stops. And we are just a few minute walk to the downtown core, to George Brown. We're very, very close to the new Corktown station, just a couple of minutes. Um, that is the future subway station that is coming in the downtown east. Um, you can walk over to George Brown. In fact, I won't say across the street because it's almost like a block away, but almost across the street from Canary House is where the George Brown student residence is. Um, that's how close we are to George Brown. Um, the Georgia Waterfront Campus is very much a quick walk away. Um, and along with Sugar Beach, um, we're very close to St. Lawrence Market. We're right in the center of everything. What's cool about the downtown east, you can walk everywhere. You're right on this Front Street Promenade, um, you know, which is that, that triple uh, wide sidewalks. And um, of course, Courtdown Commons is huge. Now, the other thing that we need to talk about is East Harbor. Um, you guys know about East Harbor. We know that it's 50,000 plus new jobs coming. It's going to be the new transit hub of the East End. And it is only a few minute walk from Canary House. So the Canary District is massively connected. As I was saying, directly out front of our, of our um, site already, we have a streetcar stop. Um, we are getting the Corktown station just up the street uh, to the west, to the east. We're getting the East Harbor Transit connection. We're also getting an LRT stop almost right in front of our building. And of course, you can also just walk everywhere. Um, I think that's uh, that's one of the most amazing things about this location. Uh, the subway is coming, the TTC, the uh, streetcars are there, GO is coming, and the LRT is coming, but you can just also walk. Um, possibly not on a day like today, uh, but most days you can just walk downtown, you can walk to Young Street, you can walk wherever you want to go. A couple statistics about the Canary District. Uh, first of all, we're looking at median family incomes, about 31% higher than uh, the rest of the central Toronto uh, as an average. So uh, definitely an area where you have a, a higher income, especially in an area that's mostly condominiums. And it speaks a little bit to the buyers in this location. I think it's a very end user um, type of location. People want to be here. Um, you know, people are paying really good rent for units in the Canary District, people are, want to be in this location. The downtown east over the last five years, we've seen about a 38% uh, appreciation in rental rates. And at Canary District, we've actually seen between 50 and 60% appreciation um, for all of the pre-construction condominium investors. Um, that's a huge number and uh, it's not stopping. Uh, again, this is actually a shot of Front Street. You can just see what this neighborhood looks like. Um, if you don't know this, you should go there. You should see this. You should walk this. It is 
it is a place like no other in this city and it is as close as you're going to get to downtown to be on an 18 acre park um, with with sidewalks at the bottom then you have our lobby so we're really unique lobby um, i think i missed saying it earlier um, our interior designer here is elastic uh, they are uh, the designers behind the amman hotels uh, very very high-end very unique and uh, they've actually put a lot of interesting feelers um, into this building that you don't see in a typical condo building in Toronto. This is not a typical Toronto condo lobby. This feels like a very high-end boutique hotel lobby. And that's the concept here, to come home to something special. And um, it goes everywhere from that concierge desk all the way down to this beautiful seating out in the glass overlooking the front street palette. You see that great uh, fire right at the back. So this is called the studio. This is kind of a multi-purpose room. It's set up right now, obviously, for some um, yoga. Uh, this can also be used for other events. And so it's a uh, very much a, a multi-purpose room, but this is a uh, the studio set up as a yoga room. An amazing gym facility. I love this thing. Um, so uh, again, very hotel inspired, very high-end, feels very boutique-y. It's got that two-story um, ceiling height. You got this great wood paneling and mirrored wall. Um, everything just feels unique. It feels like something comfortable that you're going to want to go and use. And uh, you don't find this, um, I find in a lot of uh, buildings, this is just a really unique and upscale feeling to all of the different amenity spaces. We have the entertainment room. Um, I keep going back to talking about, you know, you have these great expansive glass windows. You have fire pits. You're going to have these just comfortable, soft seating areas where people are going to want to hang out. Um, this room is more of, you know, you can, you can bring your friends, you can hang out, you can play a game of pool, you can watch a game, um, just a, a kind of a recreational space. We have our library. Um, so our library actually has two sides to it that look like this. Um, just a little place where you can go, take a seat, relax, get some alone time, uh, maybe do a little bit of work. Uh, again, very unique in a condo building and uh, just kind of feels a little bit more like um, a home, which is why it's Canary House. We have our party room, um, very upscale, um, very uh, open. It feels like a, a room you're going to want to bring your friends into and hang out, uh, but not where you're going to want to throw a party for 500 people. It's more of a, uh, a, a place for you to entertain the people you want to hang out with move our private dining room. We're seeing these more in uh, condo buildings these days. Uh, concept here being you have a condo and you don't necessarily have enough space to bring your entire family over for dinner. So we've set up a nice big um, uh, rentable private dining room. So you can bring your family here, you can bring relatives, you can bring your friends, have a nice big dinner party, have a lounge area. Uh, again, very, it's happening a lot more in condo projects, but not like this. This is a very, um, uh, quaint kind of uh, area where you can really enjoy things. Mm -hmm.